How good will the 3060 Ti be for mining after we can no longer mine Ethereum? Well, I've tested it in depth on over 25 different coins, so let's have a look. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram, and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto, or your personal information. All right, so please be careful, use your common sense, and don't let any of these imposters fool you. All right, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video, Seb Heslo here. And of course, nobody can know exactly what will happen to GPU mining after the end of Ethereum. But if you want my best prediction, I actually have a video on that. So I'll leave a link to that up in the corner there as well as in the description. But in short, we're going to have to mine other coins. And having great mining efficiency on those coins, meaning getting the most possible hash rate per watt of power used, is going to be very important for profitability. So that's why I've tested the 3060 Ti on 8 different coin mining algorithms which are used by over 25 of the most profitable coins to mine. And of course I've tested them to find both the highest possible hash rate as well as the best possible power efficiency. And I do all my testing using my PMD device which lets me measure the exact power consumption used by the GPU as the reported power consumption in software can often be incorrect. So in this video we're going to have a look at hash rate, wattage, overclock settings and current profitability for all these coins. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Wadom. If you want to get into proper Bitcoin mining, then Wadom has you covered. From the latest ASIC miners, mobile mining containers and power transformers, to complete hosting services and even full facility build-outs. Wadom is the largest distributor of Bitcoin mining equipment in the United States, with a team of over 100 mining experts ready to help you out. So check them out through wadom.io forward slash seb or in the link in the video description. Now quickly before we get into it, I will be showing you my overclock settings in this video. However, while they could be a good starting point, just know that they will not be optimal for your specific 3060 Ti. And that's because all GPUs are unique and need their own individual overclock numbers. So if you want to find the perfect overclock settings for your GPU, I actually have a video on my whole overclocking workflow that shows you how to overclock any NVIDIA GPU to mine any coin. So I leave a link to that video up in the corner there as well as in the description of this video. And also, after watching this video, if you feel like the 3060 Ti is the GPU you want to get for mining, I will leave some affiliate links in the description to the best deals that I could find on Amazon for the 3060 Ti's that I would recommend for mining. But with that out of the way, Let's get into the results. All right, so we are on the computer and I'll leave a link to this spreadsheet with all my hash rate testing results in the description of this video. And as you can see here, I did all of my testing on my Asus TUF version 1 3060 Ti with Samsung memory. Now version one means of course non-LHR, although that doesn't really matter anymore now that LHR has been fully unlocked. But I just thought I should mention that here at the beginning of the video. And as you can see, the very first algorithm we tested was the ETH hash algorithm. So these results will be the same for any coin that uses a variant of the ETH hash algorithm like Ethereum, Ethereum Classic and so on. Now, as you can see, highest possible hash rate I was able to get was 62.4 mega hash and the best efficiency was at actually not locked core clock. I was very surprised by this, but I was actually able to get a slightly better efficiency by just using a power limit of 120 watts. Now, as you'll see here, the actual measured power consumption is actually quite a bit higher than both the you know power limits that you set and also the reported. I actually found that the 3060 Ti under reports wattage by about 20 watts throughout my testing. So just keep that in mind as we go forward. But yeah, here you can see with a power limit of 120 watts and negative 502 on the core offset, I was able to get 60.3 mega hash at just 136 watts for an efficiency of 0.443 mega hash per watt. Now, moving on to our next algorithm, which is the ProgPow algorithm or any variant thereof, which would mean coins like Ravencoin, Fero, Neoxa, Zero, and so on. You can see highest possible hash rate was just under 31 mega hash. Uh, or the best efficiency was actually with a locked core of 1300. Uh, which gave us a hash rate of 28.2 mega hash at 164 watts for an efficiency of 0.172 mega hash per watt. And you can see all of our overclockings out there. Now moving on to the next algorithm, which is Autolycos for just ergo, at least for now. Uh, you can see highest hash rate is 173.3 mega hash or best efficiency was with a locked core of 1350. 
uh, where we got 154.2 mega hash at 122 watts and the efficiency there is 1.264 mega hash per watt moving on we got flux which uses zell hash which is just an equihash variant basically so these results should be pretty similar for any equihash algorithm basically and as you can see highest hash rate was 60 solutions per second at 220 watts or best efficiency was 49 solutions per second at 137 watts for an efficiency of 0.358 solutions per watt and you can see all of our overclocking settings out there now from doing a poll i know you guys love the 3060 ti a lot but i hope you guys love the official gpu heads merchandise even more now available at gpuheads.com and guys just gonna shout that out really quickly here if you do decide to pick some up just know that that is a great way to support the channel and get something awesome in return this design we got with the skull biting the gpu is only available until september so you can check that out at gpuheadswithaz.com but now back to the results moving on we have the octopus algorithm for conflux highest hash rate was 58.9 and the best efficiency was with a power limit of 150 watts where we got 55.9 at 170 watts which gave us an efficiency of 0.329 moving on we have conceal which uses the kryptonite gpu algorithm so our highest possible hash rate there was 2920 at 220 watts or our best possible efficiency was with a power limit of 100 watts where we got a hash rate of 2180 at 120 watts for an efficiency of 18.167 moving on we have bitcoin gold which uses the z hash algorithm highest hash rate was 104 at 220 watts or the best efficiency was with a locked core of 1300 which gave us a hash rate of 74.5 solutions per second at 125 watts for an efficiency of 0.596 solutions per watt and finally we have eternity which uses the kaku cycle algorithm and the highest hash rate i got there was 8.6 or the best possible efficiency was with a locked core of 1400 which gave us a hash rate of 6.7 at 131 watts for an efficiency of 0.051 hashes per watt and now what i've done is i've taken all of these numbers and i've plugged them into what to mine so we can see the current profitability for mining all of these algorithms on a 3060 ti but first a quick word from our sponsor nerdgears.com is a great online shop for crypto mining hardware for example if you're looking for gpus they have them in stock and ready to ship at competitive prices they also have minor rig starting kits risers splitter cables and much more but my favorite product of theirs is by far their 240 volt pdus for powering your mining rigs properly they are safe to use for up to 7200 watts and come in both regular and metered versions that let you track the power consumption of your rigs they are based in the united states and they accept both paypal and crypto as payment methods so check them out through the link in the description and use code seb for a discount all right so we are on whattomine.com and as i said i've plugged in all of our results from our hash rate testing so that we can see the current profitability for all of the coins that use these algorithms now i thought we'd start with a power cost of 10 cents per kilowatt hour but we'll go up and test other power costs in this video as well but for now let's go with 10 cents per kilowatt hour and hit calculate and we can see of course ethereum is at the top with a profit of one dollar and 33 cents per day now i'll scroll down here i'm not going to read all of the numbers out loud you can read them for yourself the ones you are interested in but what i found interesting is that there's actually only one single coin that currently is unprofitable to mine on a 3060 ti with 10 cents uh, per kilowatt hour power cost so that's very interesting just one coin that's unprofitable but now let's also see what if we have a higher power cost of let's say 20 cents per kilowatt hour yeah you can see ethereum still about one dollar per day there and going down the list you can see still a lot of coins that are profitable and in the end we end up with six coins that are unprofitable to mine on the 3060 ti but let's do 30 cents per kilowatt hour as well quickly and there we can see ethereum still 68 cents per day and going down the list still a pretty significant amount of coins that are profitable however of course with three times the power cost here there are going to be more coins that are unprofitable as you can see in the list here but that's it 
Now if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me, so thank you. Plus, you get access to our private Discord chat room. I love talking with you guys in there. But what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen. Because this video is over, you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.